Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and it is Saturday, so that means it's time for another weekly roundup. Yeah! So, what is a weekly roundup? Basically, every Saturday, I like to go through my whips, works in progress, and FOs, finished objects. Today, I'm getting a very late start. Um, I am exhausted tired. Um, I don't like to say this while it is happening, but uh, Brian was away for work last week, so it was just me and the kiddos, and uh, Mama could use a break. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm getting a late start on this. I apologize. So this is going to be another kind of truncated edition. I have a couple of finished objects to share with you, and then um, I've got a, a whip or two in here. And the rest we'll talk about later. I also have my book, and I do have a mystery box next to me. It, this one is from Michael's, though, so we'll do that last. Um, actually, no. Maybe we'll do the box before the books. I know not everybody likes the book talking. So first, let's talk projects. I did here's my book. finish the baby blanket I had working on, been working on. I was using Red Heart Baby TLC in the color Baseball. I had five skeins of this in my collection, and I was making a Bavarian stitch blanket with it. But that, yes, this stitch is disguised, but for some reason, the way this yarn was working up just made my heart happy. So I just went with it. And I really like how it turned out. Now, funnily enough, I tried to make that C2C blanket 40 by 40 for Boggy Creek purposes. This blanket, I finished every last inch of that. Not really every last inch. I did have, like, some at the end. But it is exactly 40 by 40. <laughs> I was like, so if my sister does not pick this one, I have a place for it, which is awesome. So here we go. I finished it. See, it just, it just makes me happy. Oh, I love it. I hope someone will love it. I think it will find a home with someone who will love it eventually. But, so yep, I will. I've already started the next blanket. Um, it's kind of a, a window painty fillet crochet-esque. It's not really fillet. Uh, blanket. I don't have my phone with me again. No, it's on the charger. So I can't look up the pattern. But yeah, another skein in the books and we're good to go. So what else do I have here? Okay, this bag has been in here because I work on one rave project. Uh, the rave is the Big Twist Rave. This is a partial cake. Big Twist Rave. I bought a bunch of it when it first came out, and I decided I wanted to use everything in that initial thing. The kiddos claimed certain colors. Chomps wanted the um, slime. What's it called? Electric Slime, the green one. It reminds him of Minecraft, so I made this. It's just my standard vanilla knit beanie. Um, he really wanted the yarn to shine. So, because he just loves the yarn. So I've got that. I have cast on. I've got tons of it left. The knit hat does not take much at all. Um, I've cast on to make him a matching cowl. So there's that. I will pull that back out so I can finish that. Um, no, I don't have that other hat with me because it's in my Things for Making Thursday bag, which is not with me because it is not Thursday. I did finish the double crochet hat that matches that um, scarf. So that's what I was looking for. Okay, the other project I have is my socks. They're the picnic basket socks. I am working on the toe. There is a... Ch I'm on the toe. It's going to be finished knitting there is a chance it finishes tonight. Um, whether or not I finish sewing in all the ends on the Kitchener stitch and all that. Oh, that is one of my hairs, and it is very well in there. 
that's okay. These are for me anyway. <laughs> so here we go. Um, it is the Picnic Basket Sock. I am using a colorway from the Trilogy Yarns Razzle Dazzle Golden Girls Sock Club. And I am really loving this yarn. It is so soft. It is so pretty. The sparkle, it's like super sparkly in the cake. But then the sparkle becomes a bit more subtle in the sock. I I really like it. So I do have one completely finished. And I'm nearly done with the second. I mean, it helps for sock purposes that I have abnormally small feet. So <laughs> that's good for me. So that's another whip. Let's do the last kind of whip here. I did finish, this is my Aberdeen Wool's Pickle Jar Cowl. So this comes with 40 micro minis from Tangled Poets. Aberdeen Wool sells it. It comes in the pickle jar. You get 40 micro minis, you get needles, and you get two patterns for knit projects. This is the initial one, the original. It's kind of just a crazy multicolored scarf. So here we go. I finished the color Bingo picked out last, and then Chomps picked out this yellow, so the tonal yellow golden color, and there we go. So I will have a kiddo pick out a new yarn, and remember, this is going to get sewn together, so it's kind of a cowl like this. It's not me, ow, trying to stick my head through this tube. No, that would be claustrophobia-inducing, I think. Um... I did take that same... Oh, I can't... See, this is why the kids have to pick, because I can't get my hand in the jar anymore. I took the sample that from the Purple Lamb box, and I threw it in here, because, it, frankly, it is a place to store it, at the very least. I do like the idea of adding it to this project. I also kind of like the idea of gathering these micro minis and or the samples and doing like a scrappy sock at the end with it like I don't know what to do but yeah so it is stored in there and if I decide to throw it in this project I think it will be the last one that I use um could have sworn I had another project to talk to you guys about is that literally all I brought in I think that is. I wish I had my phone. Yeah, that's all I brought in. Why is that all I brought in? Who knows why I do the things I do. Okay, um, let's talk. You know, let's just talk book. It's here. Okay, so I have only kept up with my one chapter a night before bed. I'm reading Mark Lawrence's The Book That Broke the World. Where's the title page? There it is. It's a little easier. There you go. The book that the book that broke the world. I am just shy of halfway done. Uh, chapter. I'm about to start chapter 19, I think, or 18. Yep. About. So I finished chapter 18, page 148. Uh, I will read chapter 19 next. There is 368 pages. 364 pages. 364 pages. So, still a little shy of halfway, but I am I am enjoying it. Um, like I said, the writing style is very familiar. It's very similar to the first book. I think if you liked the first book, you would be well served by reading the second. If you were kind of meh or didn't like the first book, move on. Find something else. <laughs> it's fine. Not everything is for everybody. Okay, I am really befuddled. I thought I had other projects in here to talk about. I'm nearly done with my um, Sweet Illusions blanket. So this box is from Michael's. I don't know what's in it. It's been sitting on the landing for far too long, and we need to open it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I started a new... I started a new baby blanket with the navy, if you recall me talking about the baby blanket colors. Um, I'm almost done with the Sweet Illusions blanket with the Halo, Kieran Halo. Um, 
I've got like 14 rows left on Chomps' neon blankie. Yeah, and then I'm working on that shawl for things for making Thursday. And of course the trolley for the um for Fridays with Fred. Which funny thing, I was I was almost done with my wheel for today. I got to the la to the second to last round and it wasn't working out. And then I read the pattern again and realized I had messed up and misread. The wheels have six rounds. I misread round three. And I didn't realize it until I was on round five. And at the end of round five, because that's when I knew my count was off. Um, anyway, let's see what's in this Michael's box. Fingers crossed, I think there should be an anniversary cake in here. But because I was looking and I have a weird order in my Michael's app that says it was... That says it was shipped, but there's a note when I go to tracking, because it doesn't say process, it just says shipped. And then um, there's a note that says UPS didn't doesn't have custody of the package yet. So I'm hoping it's in here. Okay, this should be the missing Michael's order. So, according to the packing slip. Let us see, let us see. Oh, good, they've got this. Okay, no, not now, not now, not now. The good paper for drawing. And yes! Okay. So I did get one more anniversary cake. There you go. In the, is this a Jubilee? In the reds, Jubilee. I got this because Chomps' favorite color is red. And I didn't buy this initially because I was worried it was going to read to pink for him but so it is many colors of red I'll ask him and see if this is one that he would want or not but there you go it is beautiful I agree Heather um Heather from Heather the Crochet Witch was saying she thought these were wound much more compactly and they are so if you look at the old ones they were like wound around like this um, that was my book falling off. I was worried it was my water. This one is round like this. And so, yeah, they are wound differently. And these are, the new ones are far tighter. Okay. And then what did I get? I got more macchiato cakes because I am obsessed. So this was the order. I think I talked about it where I was going to order some of the, um, new spice cakes, but my heart wasn't in it. My heart wanted macchiato cakes. My heart got the macchiato cakes. This colorway is boundless and it's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. So I got four boundless and then they have a new Caron cloud cake variety that's called perfect phasing. So I got three of this colorway. Why I picked this one? I have really no idea. Um, this colorway is cinnamon. So it starts with a very, very pretty orangey brownish cinnamon color. And then it fades to, I'm going to call it a winter white creamy. It's not pure white, if you're curious. Um, these are... Made in China, medium four, 4.5 millimeter knitting needles, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, machine washable and dryable, 100% polyester. They are so soft. They are eight ounces, 227 grams, four, 720 yards, or 658 meters. That is so pretty. That is so gorgeous. I love that they're doing that beautiful color fade in other varieties because Caron does the um the halo as well which is such a gorgeous phasing yarn but there you go that's what is in this mystery box and I'm glad I have found it so I no longer have to go hmm should I be worried that this hasn't been shipped because <laughs> it has been shipped and I've had it out in my landing 
for who knows how long. Okay, so let me know what you're making, what you're working on, what's motivating you these days, what what's going on. If you have any book recommendations, I would love to hear it. Um, okay, let's stick that over there. Please don't fall. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear it. And... Yeah, I will see you guys later. This is going to be a short and sweet one, if not a little bit befuddled, because I am befuddled, because I really could have sworn I had put more projects in here to talk about, but I cannot tell you what project I'm missing. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.